Hey everyone, how are you doing today? Happy Revenge of the Fifth. With the end of the Clone Wars, I figured this would be an interesting video to cover. Now, I will mention at the very beginning that this is Legends. That said, it is written by Matthew Stover, who wrote the Revenge of the Sith novelization. So with that said, let's go forwards. What the Empire told Luke about Anakin's death, or how the Empire said Anakin Skywalker died during Order 66. After Anakin's turn to the dark side at Palpatine's feet, he was deemed as Darth Vader and no longer Anakin Skywalker. His transition into self-hatred was a relatively fast process from his betrayal of Mace Windu, to raiding the Jedi at the temple, killing the younglings and the Separatists, and then finally choking Padme and becoming Darth Vader. Once he wore the suit, he had fully transformed into Vader, and any memory of Anakin was just that, a memory now. So how did the Empire say Anakin Skywalker died? What story did they make up for the Clone Wars hero now that he had become the mysterious Darth Vader, which not many knew about? In the now Legends novel Luke Skywalker and the Shadows of Mindor, it explains the universally acknowledged story of Anakin's demise. This book was composed by Matthew Stover, who also wrote the Revenge of the Sith novelization. So we can assume this is an answer that maybe George accepted as well. I'm going to read a passage from the book where Luke is finally hearing the story which was widely accepted throughout the galaxy about his father. Here we go. Kid, in the Clone Wars, everyone knew him. He was the greatest hero in the galaxy. When he died, it was just like the end of the universe. Nick's got twisted again at the memory. It bloody well was the end of the Republic. Luke stopped. He looked like something hurt. When he died? Nick came to a halt gratefully, bending over with hands on his knees while he tried to catch his breath. Way I heard it, he was the last Jedi standing in the Temple Massacre. When Vader's 500 first went in and killed all the Padawans. What? That's where your father was killed, defending children in the Jedi Temple. He was not only the best of the Jedi, he was the last. Nobody ever told you the story? Luke's eyes were closed against some inexpressible pain. That's not the way I heard it. What I find odd and interesting about this is that if this was so widely accepted, seeing as how Nick was surprised Luke never heard the popular story, then why does the Empire shade the clone troopers in such a bad lighting, seeing as how some of them still served in the Empire and were now stormtroopers? Also in the book Patterns of the Force, which I don't consider to be notable at all for our answer, even this one's, even though this one's Legends too, I'll add it here anyways because the information is, eh, it's never bad. Jax Pavan searches for how Anakin died, whereas most Jedi have complete stories, Anakin's is just one sentence. Jax recalled one of the rumors of where and how Anakin was supposed to have died on Mustafar, thrown into the magma steam, but no one knew by who. Since the first book was written by the same author as a novelization for Revenge of the Sith, for our Legends answer here, I'm gonna accept this as more of an accepted one than just Legends, at least for the George Lucas era. Now with the Clone Wars finale having come to an end, that final scene was one of the most emotional and breathtaking scenes that we've gotten in animation and in Star Wars in general. So I felt this video was fitting to explain and show, at least you know, in this proper Legends information, how the galaxy, or rather how the Empire, made it look like Anakin died. Let me know what you think about the information, and if we'll get anything in canon someday, I'd love to know how they change the story and what they'll say about Anakin. Have an awesome rest of your day, and happy Revenge of the Fifth. Oh, feel.